I just wanted to let you know it's 514 at 324. Yep. And th I just got this thing today. This is the XDS. So this is your first impression. The first thing you'll notice is this case is as big as a freaking briefcase, you know? And it's got some nice, good locks on there. See? Wood locks right there. And when you open it, you'll see the next thing you'll notice is, oh my god, look at the size of that thing. It looks like it's big enough for a bicycle compared to the gun, right? So the next thing you'll notice is it's got this little red thing and a little divot right there for that to fit, and it fits right in here. And you'll notice that the serrations go all the way up over the top. See that? And you also notice this little thing is to show you that there's a live round in the magazine. And then right over here where you can see there's a uh, place where you can witness the, the brass see it in there too, in the daylight, where this is nice at night. It also has a backstrap safety and a safety on the trigger like a Glock. And it has dual releases. Also notice it looks like somebody switched these and I was supposed to get a long one and a short one But the old ones that they all got these had to go back to the factory and get some kind of safety thing put on It really doesn't do anything. So it wasn't like you missed it, but yeah Yeah, I think they did get the longer one with us or they were just saying that you can get a longer one I don't know, but you can see the case was cut out for the longer one so also, you'll notice that you can, it's easy to rack. Usually these small guns, because of the spring, uh, they're hard to rack. So the first thing you also notice is uh, you got to take the magazine out to disassemble it. And you can't man manipulate it with the magazine and the pistol. And when it's disassembled, it the lever up that you can't insert the magazine again. Watch. So now, at this point, you for some reason, I don't know what that there is cut out for. It looks like you're supposed to push down, but you're not. You're supposed to go to 12 o'clock with it. See? And now you can release it. See? And now I'll show you. See, the magazine will not go in. And now you fire it, and then it comes right apart. And this thing here, you'll see, is hanging up really high. See that? It looks weird, but it can only go in one way because it's on like a little ramp. Another thing I noticed is spring doesn't come off the guide rod that I know of yet. I also I noticed it. Look at the size of that barrel. I mean, that's like a freaking bull barrel. Yep. Look at this barrel. This thing is nice. Some of these barrels I noticed on this certain gun that I used to have, maybe the barrel looked like it was uh, made out of a tin can. Yeah, this thing is like really nice. Very easy to disassemble. See, put back together. Put it back together again. Uh... Lock the slide, push that down, set it, and now she's very easy to rack, like I said. Either hand. Also, look at this. You can release the magazine, index it, use your thumb, either hand. So however you feel like doing it. Also, it comes with a different, a shorter back strap than the one that comes with it. See, you can change the back strap. Also, it comes with this thing here, but this thing here, you got to put the full moons towards the inside. See, I had to take the screw out all together because the bolt is already too short. Yep, see, that's the bolt that goes in here. Because look, uh, there really is enough resistance without pulling your belt off or something you know see that one's still really tight you're gonna have to like put something in there and pry that apart even more and then they'll come out nice and easy but i mean they're not sticking or anything don't get me wrong 
But that being said, yeah, and then it's got this really nice stippling on it. And if some people don't like that, they could just take some sandpaper and sand it off. I mean, they make they make such a they they're such con artists because you know they're obviously selling a lot of Glocks or something, and and that's all they carry. And they maybe I don't know what it is. They can't get a Springfield dealership or something because a Glock won't let them, you know, and. Uh, we're not going to sell our Glocks next to your Springfields then, and then, you know, they have no other choice but to sell that new Glock 380. You know what I mean? So they're going to, like, badmouth these like a con artist would, and come up with all this hearsay, and then you followers will just listen to it. you got to start reasoning like I do for myself. This gun, look at this. It is super tight. It's as tight as this government model 1911 at Hickok was showing me. I have never seen a gun this tight. And as far as uh, accuracy, I mean, this thing is spot on point of aim. I mean, it really is. I already shot like a magazine or two through it, and it's spot on, man. Also, these uh, light pipes, I mean, that's what real men call them. You can call them kal kaleidoscopes if you want to. I don't give a damn. Whatever they tell you to with their hearsay, they're probably laughing at you, but it's a pipe and it lights up. Light pipe. I don't care. And it comes with this here. And it comes with this nice paddle outside the belt. Whatever you want to call it. And it's pretty good if you're right-handed, but I'm left-handed. That's why I preferred this gun over the others anyway. Yep, so it's all right. You can see I'm only using two fingers to pull it, and it's not going to fall out, even upside down. And you can adjust it right there, too, which would be, in this case, to tighten it more, because it's already loose enough. Whereas, like I said, this wasn't. Yep. So, at this point, we're going to show you what it looks like loaded. See, um... See this thing right there? Oh, it's not sticking up. And see right in here? Now watch, we'll load it. There it is, it's loaded. See that in there, shining? See how this sticks up now then? Yeah, that's nice, isn't it? It's like super safety. Also, do you see this top thing? It's the only problem with this case. This top piece keeps falling out, and it's got this extra gear you can buy and the owner's manual with some um, schematic drawings and stuff which I like so yeah I'm thinking about how to glue this up because you can see it's cut out for the paperwork in between so you put the glue right here and right here you close this up Look at this. It's even got Picatinny rails on the side. One on that side and one on that side. <laughs> also, this is what I used to load double stack and single stack uh, magazines. It works good. They're really nice. There's a whole video out showing you how to load these. But you just put that in here like that. By the way, we're using this UMC ammo. All you do is you put that in like that. See, pull that out. And, well, let me show you. It was off camera. You put this in like that. Put this on like that. See? And keep moving the scale out of the way. <laughs> and it's very easy. That's all there is to it. A little common sense, you should be able to do it. It's like my one friend said, if you can't do that, you probably shouldn't have a gun, right? You think? Until it doesn't load anymore. And the spring's completely compressed. Now, you can put that in, and what we have is 7 plus 1. And here we're going to use this old P64, 1964 dated. And we're going to weigh them ounces okay that one's 2350 that's 2590 20 wait a minute 
twenty-five point ninety minus twenty-three point fifty equals two point four ounces. Can you see that? Yeah. Yep, right there in the lower corner. 2.4 ounces. So this actually was 2.4 ounces heavier than a gun in 1964. We don't need to add that up. 2014. Uh, 60 years old, isn't it? Yeah, I believe. No, 50. 50 years older than this one. This one's 50 years newer. So considering that it has this back safety strap on and it's got the serrations, it perfectly fit. And it's Springfield Army, even though it's made in Croatia here, see? It also has the serial number on the barrel, the slide, and the frame on, has this, um, a rail on the front for a laser or a light if you want. It also is boxed here with some stippling on there, see, in case you shoot like this. A lot of people do because the gun kicks up. But I've shot this gun. This gun, all the other guns in its class that I shot, even this gun right here, which is 9x18 Makarov, which isn't really much different, see. Not much. Well, see, I'd be lying if I told you. But see, now you can see there's really not much difference. That's why this is a 9mm power bell and this is 9mm Makarov. That's all. The 9mm power bell is so common, though, you could probably get plus P, Matt. You can get plus P in this now, too, Buffalo Bore and uh, Hollow Points, too. But they're really, really expensive, you know. Um... This is a nice gun. It's like the PPK Walther. It's exactly. Except the Walther doesn't have this relief right here to grip up inside so tight. So you can see I can get more of my hand on here with this extended mag than I can on this. And this is two ounces lighter. And this cost 150 and this was about 500 So, you know, it's what you want. I want this. Believe me, it's much nicer. It shoots better. The ammo is easier to get. So I got a lot of things going for it, you know. But again, look. I set this earlier to show you that this is wider than this too. This is much, you know, slimmer. S, slimmer, slide, single stack, whatever. Whatever you want to call it. I've also noticed I don't really need this thing to load these. I believe these are Mekar because, you know, Italy is right across that lake from uh, Croatia. So you can see we can pretty well load this pretty fast by hand. I know. Isn't that funny? It's that last bugger that's a bugger. <laughs> it's always that way, you know. You want to load them all in there. So now we got 7 plus 7 plus 1 equals, huh? I'm asking you, I already know it's 15. How much is it now? <laughs> That's the real funny part, isn't it? <laughs> How much is it now? <laughs> All right, I've checked the area out behind me there so nobody's back there. Oh, there's no... Uh, fawns or anything. It's all safe. It's not the time. School's still in. We're all good. I'm going to shoot each target once because they fly around so I have to go boom, 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 boom. I gotta find the magazine because we did bring that loader. I 
again. We'll go from right to left this time. I think I missed that last one. It's not good at 25 yards with a little uh, actually in the home line. Anybody gets caught shooting past 25 yards, you're gonna really need a good lawyer to get off. You can see, I mean, I've already got, at this point, I've got like two inch groups. I can show you. Yeah, two inch group right up there. It's just insane. I mean, whatever they're telling you, you tell them to come around here and put their money where their mouth is. Dirty, rotten liars. Yeah, what they're doing is they're trying to market their junk. And this gun is not junk. It may be made in Croatia, which, yeah, I know too. Did you know that's like the third worst, worst country in the world? Not that it's like, oh, what's that mean? It can't be. It is. You know, Iran's right up the top there, though. So, yeah, what they mean is by uh, interest rates. You know what I mean? You go over there and you say, oh, my God, 50% interest just to buy a car. You know, or so, I don't know what you buy over there, you know? They don't make cars. But, uh, yeah, you go over there on a vacation, yeah, right, you're not borrowing money, so it's okay. You don't know. 